So here you go, sir. This is the greatest car ever made. <laughs> Officially pop this cherry. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today is day two of Mike figuring out what supercar he wants. Unfortunately, the 458s are all rented out, both of them. So I'm trying to convince Mike to get a GT3 RS. He's gonna drive this, and to give him the true Ferrari experience, he's gonna drive my FF afterwards. So here you go, sir. This is the greatest car ever made. All right, so fun fact, these bucket seats are the same bucket seats you'll find in a Porsche 918. So these are hypercar bucket seats. Oh, they feel nice too. All right, first things you're gonna notice about this car is how stiff it is. The suspension, the chassis, and the entire body. I'll turn it on, let's turn this thing off. Listen to this engine purr. Give it a little, a couple reps. Oh yeah, okay. Drive it. I'm telling you, you're going to like this car more than the, the Honda, AKA Lambo, or the Ferrari FF that you can drive later. Here, we're gonna open up the exhaust. We're gonna put it on PDK Sport, and we're gonna make the suspension very stiff. Initial thoughts? Remember, the it's, car's it's, got 55,000 miles. It's super stiff, the transmission's yeah. kinda weird. The, okay, the, the transmission's weird in the beginning, right? The first five miles an hour. This has the quickest shifts in the world. <laughs> this transmission, it's, it's instant, snaps your neck. Just it put just it in a manual. Yeah. All right, it's okay. Okay. Are you changing gears yourself? Yeah. Okay. And this is a stock exhaust, by the way. Is it? Yeah. Now shift. has 500 horsepower. Okay, this is a driver's car. It's right? a driver's car, absolutely. What's your uh, red line at on this car? 10,000? It's 9, 88, I believe, on this car. My car is 9,000, okay? Take it all the way up to 88, and then slap the, slap the paddle. First gear, this thing's gonna get wild, right? It's not, not so much. Ready? No. Tell me this isn't a better car. Wow. Tell me this is not a better car. <laughs> this thing is fast. It's fast. Off the, this is faster off the line than the Lamborghini and the Ferrari. That's lighter. I'd get in trouble if I had this car. I, I, I don't, it, need, to, it I don't is, need to have this car. This is too much. You, you do get in trouble with this car. Uh, but this car inspires you to learn how to drive better. It makes you a better driver too. Let's see if we can get out of this trap. Yeah. It's one of those cars that if you don't drive it, you're not going to appreciate it. Let's make a U-turn. Let's go drive the Ferrari. Okay. I, I get it now. I totally get it. Come on, guy. What are you doing? What are you? What are you? What are you doing? at the body shop getting new front bumper. What do you think, really? I, I changed my entire perspective about this car. I did not like this car at all. I, I thought it was the ugliest car. Okay, drive. you say it's the ugliest car, right? Yeah, but now you're gonna go outside, you're gonna notice some aerodynamic features about the car, why it's shaped the way it is. Well, look at the tail, then it all makes sense. Spin. And the car's going straight. You're winning. Go. on it it's our fish telling yeah you're a novice driver you'll admit that right absolutely okay but you were able to control the car 
You didn't go into it's the sidewalk. It's easy to drive. Yeah. It's easy to You did drive. not go into the curb. I guarantee you, if you were in the Ferrari or the Lamborghini, you'd be calling Houston right now, hey, Houston, we need a tow truck. <laughs> That's why I love this car. It makes you a better driver. Admit it. Your phone was clenching on that. That was good, man. <laughs> All the buttons? Yeah, it's easy. Or here, it's easy. There's no like thing you gotta flick up to turn the engine on. That's all extra, you know what I mean? They're trying to make the car cool. Yeah. This car doesn't need all those gadgets to be cool. The car is cool. I like all this right. car. Yeah? yeah? All right, ready for the Ferrari? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 458 and the FF have the same steering wheel. So some uh, some cues of that car are gonna be identical. Obviously one's a station wagon, <laughs> it's a two-seater. Out of 10, what would you rank this car? 9 out of 10 to drive this 9 car. out of 10. And the, the visual, the, the way it looks, four out of, 3 out of 10. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, if you do a walk around on this car, you're going to start slowly appreciating it. So that, that 3 out of 10 will become a 8 out of 10. <sighs> yes. The the Huracan, out of 10, driving experience. What, what was that? Where would you rank it? After driving this, the 5 out of 10. Five out of ten. Yeah. The Huracan. It's a nice car, but it does not drive like this car. Okay, uh, I love that answer. But yesterday, when you had only driven that, I mean, that that was your first supercar yeah, that first you ever experience. drove. I was excited. It was great. You know, eight, nine out of ten. I was like eight, best experience nine, here. eight or nine out of ten yesterday. Yeah, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. So today, even though this was the second uh, supercar you've ever driven, you, you didn't have that initial, you know, that that initial thrill of driving a supercar. We still gave this a nine out of ten. That's high. So I'm sure if you drove this yesterday for the very first time, it would have been a 10 out of 10. That's would you agree? Oh yeah. All right, now let's go drive the Ferrari. Let's do a walk. Look at this. Let me, let me teach you some things you might not know. You know why the fenders have these louvers? Why? Okay. So there's turbulent air in this fender wheel, okay? As the, wind, as the wheel spins. There's a gap here for the air to escape. This creates an extra 250 pounds of downforce. So it keeps your front end down. The wing, 750 pounds of downforce. I love the wheels. The wheels yeah, the wheels are beautiful. 21 inch wheels, 21. Here's where your intake is. So if you have the windows down, you hear the air being sucked in. Center oh, exhaust, is this is a 16. Look how aerodynamic it is so. yeah, Air just flows over it, right? I, no sharp edges. It still is, it's not a pretty car. It really is. You appreciate it because you're a driver. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let's go grab my Ferrari. But you'll admit it's a badass car. I will. Okay. Let's now Im imagine taking that thing on the track. Let's go. I think he put exhaust on. It no, doesn't make it a fun so, car. No, he's so definitely convinced. He wants a Porsche now. Houston hates Porsches for whatever reason. Listen. All right. Why do you hate Porsches? Because they're bitch cars. All, All right. right. Hopefully you record this. All right, let's go. We don't want to hear this. How yeah, dare you? It's, it's like you're talking crap about my firstborn. How dare you? It's your thirdborn. Oh, yeah, but it feels like my firstborn. Next up. Okay. So, here's what's cool about this car. Every car is unique in its own way, right? Everything's on the steering wheel. I love that about this car. Uh, no turn signals on the side. If you want to slap a gear up, you're not going to hit the turn signals or, or the wiper blades, which have has happened a couple times in my Porsche. That's the only thing I hate about it. It has heated seats, right? Let's do that. Yeah, it's got heated seats. <laughs> Reason why has So, foot on the brake. Yep. Engine starts here. Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's, uh, it's on wet mode. So, Mike, here, turn the Manatina switch, put it on sport. That noise. See bolt. Are you serious? What? Are you serious? What? Yeah. What? This is so loud. You've never heard it before. I did when I started in the garage. I scared myself. <laughs> oh, Give shit. it a couple reps. Oh yeah, that does sound. Really One good. of the best sound Oh hell yeah. Houston, Houston's like, the car's too loud. Hey, that does sound really good. See, a guy that says the car is too loud. Can never talk crap about Porsche, right? I mean, how how can you take take that guy seriously? If, <laughs> what guy can say a exotic car is too loud? There's no such thing as too loud. Yeah. So when he says a Porsche isn't a great car, don't trust that guy. He's got See? no idea what he's talking about. What is on here? Uh, straight pipe. All the way out. All the way out. Who did it? Novatech. 
You already reverse. Oh. I don't even need to teach you. Why? I looked at the R, so. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what PS is? A bad word. <laughs> no, that's BS. Oh. PS is power start. Power it's a launch control. Let's try that. <laughs> Look at that, second day in a supercar, <laughs> he already wants to try that launch control. Literally 10 minutes after almost wrecking it in the Porsche. <laughs> almost wrecking, no oh, man. Dude, you went totally sideways on that. I hope the camera caught it. Jesse. Sir. I'm gonna supervise you because I don't trust you. Hey. After what happened last time, I don't trust you. I'm pretty sure you were the, the ringleader on that one. I was, but uh, you helped me out, so what's that say about you? That means I'm a good guy. <laughs> for helping me out. <laughs> yep. You know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. I yeah. think I'm on that. I, I get an inherent I, portion of things here. I feel like you're uh, second in line over here. I am. You know, it's like Tony and you, you guys are both there, so get rid of Houston somehow. Can I take over? You take over. And then you got, you got a spot for me? Yeah, of course. 10%. 10% I mean, Houston's not giving me 10%, so if you give me 10% on your we side. We take him out. 10% goes right. to you for sure. Hey, I'm sleeping at his house tonight. He has very bad acid reflex. Okay. So that gives you I'll, I'll just break like a glass and put in his food. Or you have to Eternal orange bleeding. Die. Orange juice? Yeah, it's too acidic for him. He'll literally be throwing up all night long. Mike, if I get 10%, you get to pick any car you want over here. <laughs> Are you in on this or no? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not in the comments. <laughs> Houston, totally kidding, man. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> you. You can sleep at nights. Don't, don't have any nightmares. I'm thinking of going white on the wheels. White wheels? White wheels. I'm a fan. Right? I used to have white, white wheels. Okay. Very uh, JDM retro. Yeah, I had white, white, on black. Uh, white wet sports on my Subi. When I had my Still Subi. look good on this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. White and black. If not white, what else? I'm kind of over gold. Gold's cool. This, Gold's is, this cool. is beautiful, but With I'm kind black, of over it. Black? I like bronze, but bronze is very slimmer. Yeah. So it's gold. I think white. I've never had white wheels before. I'll try that white. Bad thing about white. It gets dirty really easy. Ceramics. It still gets dirty. I All had right, it on mine. Thanks, Jesse. Yeah. You want starlights on? You want to feel romantic? Yeah. I feel absolutely. like we should turn them on. Why not? Ooh. <laughs> you sit like a gangster back here. Or maybe that was. No, that was me. I sit upright like a race car driver. What do you think of this car? It, it's. It's like the Porsche, you can see everything. Uh huh. It's very driver friendly, everything's right here. This chair. dash, just like the Porsche, is very short. This is only about a foot. The Lambo goes, extends for another two feet, so it's three feet long, which makes it very difficult to see the front end of the car. Yeah, this is the first impressions, it's very easy to drive. This car? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a station wagon. Yeah, like jumping on a regular car. It, it's a gentleman's sports car. <laughs> Soccer dad's sports car. Pretty good. Best from all the cars. It does. This is probably the slowest one though from the three. Best sound there. But I, I, I think it is the slowest one. Okay, so watch out on these turns while the tires are still cold. Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's loud. <laughs> That's loud. Let's warm up the engine first. <laughs> Sorry. So this isn't a rental. <laughs> I love this. I love this. But the Porsche. 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 The Porsche drives the best. This car's too soft. It's not as stiff. It floats a bit. It, it has a body like, it roll. It doesn't feel like a race car. It, it, yes. it sounds like a race car, yes. but it doesn't feel like a race but car. Yeah. I mean, you saw those bumps we were hitting at 180, though. They yeah. floating all over the road. All right. Should we give it a little gas after this? Tires warm? Uh, I feel like. No. No. The dry's cold, but all you need is a burnout to warm them up. Yeah, if you're mad enough, <laughs> if you're up for the test, I'll teach you how to use the PS as well. Power start. <laughs> I was hearing a hole in his ear. <laughs> Tunnel. <laughs> oh, people hate us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How was that? So, 
I mean, Huracan I would want because you can get a newer, a newer naturally aspirated car, right? Whereas if I go with Ferrari, I've got to get a 2000. Say it again. I've got to get a 2010 and older car to get that naturally aspirated. No, the 458 is uh, you can get a 2014 458. It's you still much older than the Huracan, though. Like Huracan came out in 2015. So I can get a 2018 naturally Huracan? aspirated V10. You can get a, two, you can get a 2019 naturally aspirated Porsche. <laughs> it's too many options. <laughs> so, Mikey, can you ever have this much fun in a pickup truck or a sedan? <laughs> no. Remember when we went drifting with the Volvo? Yeah. I almost flipped that thing over. <laughs> that was fun. I remember that. But just revving this car is 10 times more fun than that. And uh, I lost a for <laughs> to add on top of it. Power start? Yeah, let's, uh, here, let's go do it in the parking lot. So, power start is very simple on this, okay? So, left foot on the brake, and once I hit this, it's gonna say PS over there, activate or something. Stomp on the gas pedal, it's only gonna rev it up to like 3,000 RPMs. And as soon as you let go of the brake, it's gonna launch the car. Okay, so let's try it out. PS? Yeah. Stomp it. What's it say? PS, yes. Okay, stomp it. <laughs> that, that hurt my back because I was bending over. That was fun, right? It, it just goes. All right, let's do it. So now I let you know how to do it. Let me go in the middle and uh, get a couple flybys. Okay. Guys, I cannot tell you how good that car sounds. It is one of the best sounding cars. Whoever wins this car is gonna be very happy. Dude, you jetted. Do one more, I'm gonna get it from the front. You want to do a donut? <laughs> no. Here. Point it that way. Let's turn traction off. Turn it that way. Okay. Alright. Turn the wheel all the way to the left. Just make sure traction is off. Yes. Okay. You're just going to stomp on the gas and do donuts. If you get too close to any of those posts, just stomp on the brake. Okay. Let me get out of the way. <laughs> First gear, yeah, you're only gonna be in first. Go! Turn it to the left all the way. Were you on the gas all the way the entire time? Don't let go. Stomp on it all the way, okay? That's the only way it's gonna let go. Officially popped this cherry. <laughs> hey, I high five. <laughs> Officially popped your cherry. How, how's it feel? Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> How was that? She told me to close the window. <laughs> oh my god. What did it feel like? Have fast. You, proud of yourself? It was fast. That was fun. Though. It whipped me around. That like, was fun. It was fun. Mike's first time driving a uh, yeah. supercar. Any car, right? Yeah. Mike, this is gonna be the best day of your whole life. Yes. Ready? Yes. <laughs> Can you speed it up? This is the most boring ride I've ever gotten in a supercar. Third. <laughs> now you're driving. Thank you. Go, go. Later. Gross. <laughs> I hope you had a fun time, dude. I did. I'm so happy I got to experience this with you.
Officially popped this cherry. Have fast. Proud of yourself? It was fast. That was fun. Now I'm gonna teach you <laughs> how to launch the car with the burnout. Look at all the smoke. I know, yeah, it's gonna come to go. Marks. How many feet is that? Two yards. One, two, 13, 14, 15, 21, 22, 23, 30, 31, 34, 35. 35. It's 105 feet of tire marks. This car's insane. Now let's go race Houston. Let's have a drag race. Where's Mike? You want to have your first drag race? Drag race? Yeah. You know how to power start it? Yeah. Against Houston. You get smacked. Let's do it. It's rear wheel drive. Don't even try it. Let's do it. Okay. Come on. Where are we going to do it? Right here? Right here. It's, it's not even long enough. Yes, it is. Okay. This way. I got to be one of those flag girls today. Oh, this is really scary. Uh, Mikey, PS! <laughs> Looked about even to me. <laughs> no idea who won. Let's go ask them. I couldn't tell from back there. All right, who won? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> yeah. All right, if we ask Houston, of course he's gonna say, "I won." Houston, who won? Huh? We went 30 miles an hour, Edmund. But who won? Up to 30. I won. Okay, of course. <laughs> I... Why do I even ask? I let him take the jump and then I win. Okay. All right, cool. That wasn't even launching. Respectable. All in all, what do you think? Fun Lambo, Ferrari, or Porsche? Okay. To drive, to, Porsche. Okay, but experience, well, well, where would you rank this? One out of ten. I got to do a donut in it. <laughs> it's no comparison. All right, prior to the donut. Prior to the donut. Right there with the with the Lamborghini. You know? With the Lambo, okay. Yeah. So eight for the, the Ferrari, eight for the Lambo, nine for the Porsche. Absolutely. Looks wise, don't, don't compare this. Compare yeah, the 458 to the Lambo. Lambo. Lambo, so you give the Lambo a nine. Where would you put the Porsche? You already said four. four. And the Ferrari? Six. Six? That Six. low? Wow, I'm surprised. So, which car do you want? Also consider this. I can get you a 2016 GT3 RS for 160K. Wholesale. You might go with the Porsche? Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, it's it's indestructible. You're not going to have ridiculous maintenance bills. You can do whatever you want with it. You can take it to the track. You can go to dinner. It's a respectable car. It's a Porsche. Okay? Everyone knows what a Porsche is. It's fun to drive. That's the best part. And you can take it to the track days. Something breaks on, it's cheap to repair. And they're indestructible. They go through walls, you've seen. So, without driving <laughs> the 458, Porsche. Porsche? Over the Huracan. My man. Thank you. All right, he chose the Porsche over he's, the Ferrari and the Lambo. He's so wrong. <laughs> and it's, it's funny because the immediate satisfaction of the Porsche is what everybody always goes to, right? When I drove the Porsche for the first time, I bought it just because I wanted a, a really good bid on eBay. I, I had no interest in buying one. And then I drove it and I bought the 720 in the same day. So the 720 obviously was like the car of all cars. No one cares. <laughs> no one cares. You don't get to talk smack about Porsche on fifth gear and up. Maybe on royalty, maybe on one of those other channels, but not on my channel. Get out of here, this guy's mad. <laughs> hey, bye bye losers. I can't do donuts in his Lambo. <laughs> guys, that is all. Hope you guys learn what it's like to experience a supercar for the very first time. Mikey, can you open the door for me, please? Gracias, senor. So, Porsche is the most fun car to drive. Lambo looks the most exotic. Ferrari is the overall better car. I think the 458 has the perfect mixture between the Porsche and the Lambo. It has the looks, and it has the drivability, and the trackability. And honestly, the interior of the 458, the seats, come on, you saw these had no seats. They were nice. They were the best. They hugged you. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the Porsche, the GT3 does the same, same thing, yes. The uh, only difference is the Ferrari has leather on it, whereas the Porsche you know, has Alcantara. But anyway, that is all. Which car would you choose? Porsche, Lambo, Ferrari? Comment below. Let us know. That's all. Ciao.